The state has rested its case in the murder trial of Amber Geiger. The former Dallas police officer's defense team will begin presenting its case tomorrow. CBS 11's J.D. Miles joins us live from the Dallas County Courthouse with more on the final day of prosecution testimony. J.D.? Mm -hmm. Well, prosecutors wrapped up their case focusing on a couple of things. First, telltale signs around the apartment building that uh, Amber Geiger missed, but prosecutors say were too obvious showing where she was to forgive her actions. Second, her decision to use a gun if she really thought she was confronting an actual intruder. Generally, does it go to the right and back? A series of crime scene right experts right. were among the last prosecution witnesses to take the stand against Amber Geiger. Photos of both Botham Jean's and Geiger's apartments were compared with prosecutors pointing out the differences and the defense pointing out the similarities. But the red doormat outside Jean's apartment is what prosecutors continue to bring up as something they argue was too obvious for Geiger to miss when she shot her neighbor claiming she walked inside the wrong apartment. Prosecutors went over every possible defensive weapon on her police uniform belt she could have resorted to if Jean were an actual threat, including a taser, OC spray, and a knife. But an attorney for Geiger got a Texas Ranger to suggest those would not have been a trained officer's first option. If, if an officer is faced with a deadly threat, which of these is uh, an officer taught to use to address a deadly threat? At least Ray would be the, the handgun, the weapon. After the state rested its case, the family of Botham Jean left the courtroom, now expecting to hear Geiger's side of the story in the coming days. And a crime lab expert also testified there was no blood found on Geiger's uniform, which suggests, according to prosecutors, that Geiger made no effort to save the life of an innocent man. Geiger is expected to testify at some point. With her argument that this was all a terrible mistake, legal experts say she has no choice if she wants to be acquitted. The defense will begin presenting witnesses in the morning. Live in Dallas, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News. All right, J.D., thank you very much. A former assistant district attorney is weighing in on some surprising testimony in the Amber Geiger trial. It's testimony that will never be heard by the jury. The lead investigator of the shooting said he did not believe that the shooting was a crime. Those comments were made yesterday. Our Steve Pickett joining us live now today with more on why the investigator made that assessment and new reaction to that assessment this afternoon. Steve, what are they saying? Well, Ken, that ranger you speak of, his name is David Armstrong. He testified, as you mentioned, about this investigation of this shooting on yesterday with his opinion about that shooting not being a criminal act in his view. It was not allowed by uh, uh, Tammy Kemp, the judge here, to be heard by this jury. In fact, the sworn affidavit seeking the arrest of Amber Geiger last year is written and signed by David Armstrong. He said then that Geiger committed manslaughter. It was a grand jury, however, that issued a murder indictment for Geiger last year in the death of Botham Jean. Former first assistant DA Mike Snipes, I talked to him today, he says investigator Armstrong's new view would be and should be stopped in this case or in any case. Well, and it, it shouldn't be part of the case. That's it would invade the province of the jury. The judge's decision was the correct one. Well, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Ultimately, this is for the jury to decide, and only the jury. That's why the indictment is not considered as evidence of guilt either. Now, Armstrong said he formed this opinion after the completion of the Texas Rangers investigation into this shooting, the operative word here being opinion. It will not be allowed, to obviously, to go before this jury. As you know, the prosecution now resting. We are simply told the only people who can form an assessment in view of this case right now are the 12 people in that jury. Reporting live, Steve Pickett. CBS 11 News. Steve, thank you very much for that. We learned today that court will be in session on Saturday so that defense can continue to call their witnesses. You're going to want to stay with CBS 11. As this trial continues to unfold, we're going to bring you the very latest on air and online. You can also watch the trial on our website, cbsdfw.com. We are streaming it there for you.